Hi, Carol, anthropologist at Absolique. So now we've told you the difference between hair loss and hair thinning. What you need to understand is that we all lose hair every day. So what can happen if you have had hair loss or you have been experiencing pattern of thinning, you have this uh, hair anxiety, I guess it is. So every time you see a hair fall, you freak out because you don't understand what is normal hair fall and what is not. So that's what we're going to cover off. So we all lose hair every day, 70 to 160 hairs per day every day. So we can say an average head of hair would lose 100 strands per day. And that needs to happen for the hair to grow. So if it's not falling, then it's out of its cycle. So that can be a problem on its own. So obviously how often you wash your hair will determine how many hairs you collect on the days that you do wash. So when you're fearing washing your hair, do you think if you wash your hair, you're going to make it fall out? That's not true. If the hair is falling out, it's going to fall out. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with washing your hair. But if you leave it for say seven days between washing your hair, you could count up to 700 hairs. So we all lose strands every day, but they kind of get caught up in your hair. If you have curly hair, well obviously you know even more. And if you've got longer hair, um, a lot of hair, then you know, the hair can grow and grow and grow. So you have to sort of try and count it on a regular basis. We want to know and get used to the amount of hair that we should see when we wash our hair. So what you can do is collect the hairs on the days that you wash. Always do your brush therapy, make sure your brush is nice and clean. Collect all of the hairs, pop it aside in an envelope. The next time you wash your hair, you do the same. And then you can visually see, is the amount changing? Now if you need to, we will then actually count all of the hairs. You pull the strands out, you look for the bulb, you look at the length of the strand, is it broken, is it frayed, is it small, and you actually calculate all of that down. And we can do that over a period of a couple of weeks to establish that we actually don't have hair loss, but we have experienced hair thinning. And this is when the diagnosis comes in. So sometimes we've had hair loss and the hair is not grown properly. So there's certain things that we can do to trigger the hair to come back stabilize the hair cycle and understand you don't have hair loss. The other thing to understand is if your hair is falling today, like it physically is falling, you're going to be losing a lot of hairs, over 200 hairs per day. The cause was three months ago. Okay, so you have to go back in time and see what happened in the body. This is when we're looking at our blood test results and different things there. So you can't have a shock today and the hair falls tomorrow. That's not how it works. So we have done videos on physically how to do the hair counts. If you want more information, you know what to do, drop me an email. It's info at Thank you.